Hello and welcome to Ada Pulse, the community funded news channel that's keeping you up to date with everything Cardano. Except today, this video is not just for Cardano holders. If you own Bitcoin, then this video is for you. Because I'm going to do a beginner's overview of Rosenbridge because they've just completed their integration of Bitcoin. So if you're a Bitcoin holder, yeah, it's going to be a beginner's overview and a tutorial. We're going to show you step by step how you can use it and how it's actually going to benefit you. So stick around for the whole thing. It's going to be great. But do remember to click the like button, hit subscribe and bell button. And I'm Josh from ATM Staple, your presenter for Ada Pulse for today. Let's just talk Rosenbridge, shall we? So yeah, today we're talking about Rosenbridge as they completed their integration of Bitcoin. Now, the official announcement on the Bitcoin bridge going live was made on the 14th of June 2024 with this tweet. Our Bitcoin bridge is live. This monumental step brings Bitcoin to Ergo and Cardano. RSBTC is now available to be bridged between all supported networks. Now, cross-chain interoperability is one of the most significant innovations in the blockchain world and probably a key goal of Cardano in particular because it breaks the barriers of traditionally isolated blockchain ecosystems and allows like seamless transfer of assets between the networks. Now, this fluidity of asset transfer is kind of key to creating more collaborative and inclusive blockchain environments. So developers can build applications that span multiple blockchains, leveraging the strengths of, of each because they're, they're, they're all different. You know, it's not like one chain rules them all. Everyone's got its strength. So similarly, users can then move their assets across these networks without the need for intermediaries. So that kind of eliminates like reliance on third parties and kind of enhances the security of your assets in general. Bridging BTC to Cardano. Now, forgive me if I get technical just for a little second, because what we're talking about is the integration of wrapped Bitcoin. Now, in this case, if I'm going to explain what wrapped Bitcoin is to a child, I'm just going to say it's normal Bitcoin. But in this case, it's wrapped in Cardano, you know, just for argument's sake. But what it actually is, is, you know, a decentralized asset that's pegged to Bitcoin. But, you know, think of it as Bitcoin wrapped in Cardano in this sense. And so, like I said, it's going through Rosenbridge and it is... A quite a big milestone for for both ecosystems so because by enabling cross-chain interoperability this update actually positions cardano to to thrive in a new multi-chain future now the wrapped bitcoin is called rs btc and opens up quite a lot of opportunities and it's obviously expected to attract loads more users to the cardano and ergo ecosystem and it finally addressing the you know the need we had for a reliable decentralized wrapped bitcoin solution for cardano but anyway that's about as technical as i'm going to go so let's talk about how to actually do this so to bridge bitcoin to cardano just make sure you've got some btc in your wallet and let's go through the steps so here we go. Obviously, the first thing you've got to do is navigate to the Rosenbridge website. And don't worry, I'll leave a link in the description below and select the launch app button to navigate to the swap page. That's essentially what you're doing. You're swapping one thing for another. Now, let's do this. Let's say you're a Bitcoin user and you want to get in on some Cardano. So what you're going to do is connect your Bitcoin wallet. Select BTC as the source and Cardano as the target network. Enter your transaction amount, so how much you want to transfer into Cardano. Then you've got to input your Cardano wallet address. If you have trouble finding a wallet, don't worry, I'll leave a link to a couple of wallets that are well trusted within the community so you can easily set up a Cardano wallet and then get the address from that to input it into here. Then submit the transaction and Rosenbridge will process the bridge transaction. Yeah, and once you've submitted the transaction, if you look at this, you can view its status on what's called the events dashboard. So as you can see, all the ones that say done, they're all complete. And uh, that top one is still pending. What's next after the Bitcoin integration? Deliver runes. Now, you're probably wondering what runes are. 
you probably don't even need to know if you're a beginner, but uh, we'll cover it a little bit anyway. But basically, um, Rose and Bridge team, they delivered Cardano the Bitcoin bridge, and they're now looking to le- deliver something called Runes. So firstly, Rose and Bridge is an open source technology that creates a direct and secure connection between like Bitcoin and the Cardano blockchain. This connection is particularly designed to allow the integration of Bitcoin runes with Cardano. And yeah, this is what it does. It allows Bitcoin runes to be wrapped and transferred onto the Cardano blockchain. So think of wrapping as packaging Bitcoin runes in a way that they can be recognized and used as part of the Cardano system. As I said earlier, Bitcoin wrapped in Cardano. So once wrapped, these Bitcoin runes can tap into Cardano's like sophisticated decentralized finance features or DeFi, as the cool kids like to call it. So this means that Bitcoin and Bitcoin rune holders can now access financial services on Cardano that were previously not available. And finally, uh, Rosenbridge ensures that this integration is smooth and secure so Bitcoin rune holders can easily join and use Cardano's DeFi applications. So the goal is to bring users from Bitcoin ecosystem into Cardano's more complex DeFi space. So it expands the reach of and utility of both cryptocurrencies. So it's a benefit to both parties. So both have their uses is what we're trying to say. There's not one to rule them all. So let's make the world as interoperable as possible. Project Roadmap. So there are project milestones to be completed, obviously. But I know it can be boring, so I'm not going to waste too much time on it. So let's see the highlights. So Runes Protocol Research, Preparation and Design. If you want to go through the key deliverables and, and evidence of the milestone completion, you can go. I've got a link to the article and you can just check that there. But then you've got the initial and standalone implementation of the runes lock transaction. Implementation of required core modules for the bridge. Integration of modules into Rosen watchers and guards. User interface design and integration with Rosen app. Then deployment, testing, and of course, onboarding. Putting it all together. Now, while cross-chain interoperability is key to unlocking the true potential of blockchains by bridging these like digital islands, if you like, you know, we're not quite there yet. It's a challenge that requires tackling the complexities that come from the diverse underlying architectures of each network. You've got to remember, they are all different. They all do different things and have different priorities and stuff like that. But come on, the launch of Rosenbridge is, you know, that significant leap in the evolution of blockchain interoperability, particularly, obviously, between Bitcoin, Cardano and the Ergo ecosystem. But by facilitating these seamless Bitcoin transfers across these networks, Rosenbridge significantly like enhances the utility and integration of Bitcoin within decentralized finance or DeFi, if you like. Now, this innovation not only attracts more users and developers to Cardano, but also propels this vision we have of a multi-chain future where diverse blockchain networks operate like harmoniously. Now, as Br- Rosenbridge matures, its potential to increase liquidity and offer new financial tools will obviously, you know, are more likely to reshape the DeFi landscape. It paves the way for interconnected and versatile blockchain ecosystems, promising a future where users can leverage the strengths of multiple networks without compromising on security or the functionality. Like I said, they're all different. We want them to keep what make what separates them. But anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. So for further details and ongoing updates, obviously do check the Rosenbridge website, which I'll keep in the description below. And yeah, and do remember to click the like button, hit subscribe and hit the bell button and, and all that stuff and leave a comment. Just say hi, whatever. Love to hear from you. But anyway, that brings us to the end, as I said. So I'm Josh from ATM Stakepool, your presenter for Ada Pulse for today. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.